So I have been officially nominated for multiple categories, video creator of the year and streamer of the year. I am up there with some pretty big hitters, you know, some pretty big hitters. Um, but I am asking you to please go and vote for me. All you have to do to vote for me is click on the link. It will be the first link in the description for the next three weeks. Click on, or you have to sign in, vote, click on me and everyone else that you want, uh, but make sure that you don't skip me. And then you click next, you click submit. And if I haven't already voted for myself, then, you know, whatever, but I have. So there you go. That's all you have to do. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. And, um, Get into the freaking video, boys! Whoop whoop! Yo, what's going on, sexy sound? Let us go today. We're here doing a ranked one v one. We're gonna be laying Sun Wukong. That's not Sun Wukong. The name's Donatello, and I'm because we got all rolled into one. Another TMNT skin that I want to show off, Donatello. It's the Sun Wukong TMNT skin. He's a little bit smaller in game than what you would expect from Sun Wukong and Sozo Cyrus's model, but overall, holy moly, holy moly! Donnie here. I'm the brains of this operation. The amount of stars this man has is absurd, dude. What? Good goddamn. Good goddamn. Duke Nukem. Um, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go shell actually, because I can just alt his alt. If I'm fast enough. If I'm fast enough. So obviously, we got the skateboard. Got some sick fucking moves, bro. But the reason that I'm um. The reason I'm playing Wukong, obviously to show off the skin, but oh, oh, I like these animations. Um, but it's also because Wukong is one of the best. Like, um, he's he's one of the better TMNT characters for duel. So. I'm not that scared of him, huh? He actually started the same thing I did, huh? Huh, huh, huh. I'm doing some good damage here, dude. I'm really not afraid. Oh, he has med? What the what? I really like this skin, dude. I really like this skin. It's very nice. Woo, like rolling, a nat 20. All right, rolling a nat 20, my man's playing D&D. &D. Boom, hit him with it. Boom, hit him with it. Boom, hit him with it. Hey. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, it's the beginning of the split and I'm gonna be a little bit of a try hard. So I'm playing the better gods right now. While trying to show off skins at all at the same time, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to overdo it, but I feel like I should hit five here. All right, big guy. Okay. One way ticket to Beatsville. I knew he was gonna jump that. All I had to do was cancel. And boom, completely out traded. Completely out traded. He's going Soul Eater too, buddy. It's the Soul it's Soul Eater City right now. I live in Soul Eater City. He can't afford his yet. I can't afford mine. All right, let's go snatch it up. I really like how he calls down that blimp and hops on, dude. That's really cool, especially with his alt. His alt being the blimp call down. Yo, they did a, such a good job with the avatar skins and with the TMNT skins. 
I don't like the cartoon ones, but that's just preference, I think. A, a lot of people probably like those more than these ones, but... IMO, very well played. Okay. It doesn't do enough Damahe to me. He also has no mana left. I, I mean, he's got enough mana to like 1 3 me, but. Oh, he meted. I forgot he could do that. Alright, I have my ult up in 4 seconds, so as long as I don't die within 4 seconds, I think we're good. I think I'm dying in 4 seconds. Okay, actually, I didn't die. I was close. How much how much life steal do you get from your abilities? 5%? Until it is stacked and then you get more than 5%? Um, I'm just scared, you know? Like, I don't want to die. <laughs> He has nothing up right now. We're chilling. Alright, we're just splitting off to do the buffs. However, he has so much gold in hand, I'm sure. And he's not stacking his Soul Eater yet. And I already have it half stacked, so... I'm feeling pretty confident right now. Obviously, running up to the minion wave is like super dumb, and you should never do it like this when you have literally speaking no mana. But also, I'm doing it, so you know, fun. Let's back. I want to be here when my minions die because I want the soul leader stacks. <laughs> Perfect. Um, he has a stun up, right? See, I want to use my one. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, I just didn't want to die to him, you know? But he's he's got no mana, so I think we're chilling. Nice. I was kind of expecting him to med and try to kill me there. I like I wasn't fully expecting it. Like I, I didn't I didn't know for sure he was gonna do that. But I knew him in the back of my head, he has med, and the only thing keeping him from killing me is mana right now, so he might do it, you know. But I kept it in the back of my head and I was able to clutch out the, the dub with a perfect shell right before the stun landed on me. Well played, well played. I do have my finished Soul Eater now, so not only do I do a absolute shit ton of damage because I have finished Boots and finished Soul Eater, um, I also heal for an absolute shit ton. Finally, I can test the spy gear I've been working on. Like that combo did so much damage to him, dude. Wait for minions to get up there. All right. Uh, next up, I'll probably just go Void Shield. To be completely honest, it's a great item, especially in a matchup like this. He doesn't even have his finished Warrior's Blessing stacked. This is just kind of a dominant game overall. I feel like at the moment. Alright. Okay with this. Oh, it didn't kill. Darn. I was really hoping that would kill. Oh, this is up though. Should be up. Nice. I don't want to use all of my mana. I don't want to use my two to kill the minis. Because I think I'd much rather use it here. And then potentially to steal my own blue buff back if he does go for it. Do 
which I'm not sure if he is. I'm gonna go beat stick actually. Didn't go for it, huh? I'm not sure if beat stick is the right play, right? Like, cause he ha he is Fenrir with his two. And he also has Warrior's Blessing and Soul Eater, so like, it's a great play, like, I definitely should get Soul Eater at some point. The only thing I'm questioning is if it's the right play to get it now. Nice. Good kill, good kill. Well, that's my boy. My boy is beating Tower's ass. All right, I'm gonna wait for these. I'm gonna get these, and I'll probably just do that, and then back, and then go like boom, boom, boom. Maybe that's the play. Red buff does spawn. I'll probably do this, this, and this. Be honest. Saving my mana because mana is hard to come by these days. I'll just leave this here. I need to use an ability here so that I can uh, meet the wave here. I'm greedy. Uh, this is like, this play is so fucking greedy. Alright, we get the beat stick. Beat stick, go to void shield, probably just go thorns. Thorns is probably the safest play here. Like, I mean, not the safest play. Obviously, if I want to be alive, then beads, you know? So I don't get plucked under Phoenix or some stupid shit, but safest play is in, like, the highest win rate play, in my opinion, is thorns. Three levels ahead of him. I'm going to push this wave and then probably just gonna jump on me jump alt all right right here just doing my thing I'm just gonna auto this down with the chalice popped Expected this. He has no anti heal, by the way, not yet. So the amount of not damage he's doing is unfortunate for him, but amazing for me. I wish that hit him. I really want to try to kill him, but he's healing a lot, even with beat stick. Damn. Uh, hmm. I think once I get Void Shield, a fight like that should never really be in his favor. <clears> hmm. <throat> But Void Shield is kind of far away, so... One way to beat and all of a sudden we have Void Shield, nice. This the I think I will actually be going into a Toxic Blade as well. I'm not autoing that that often, but I think it'll be helpful. Also, I only have 10% cooldown. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go transcendence, transcendence and toxic blade. That gives me twenty percent cooldown with blue buff and red pot. Will give me max cooldown. Well, he's going contagion toxic. 
I really expected that to be a breastplate because breastplate is infinitely better. I don't think he literally ever wins this fight, by the way. Oh man, I suck. If I, uh, <clears throat> if I wasn't bad, I would have hit that Tiger Sun and definitely won the game. Right there. Let's go Toxic Void. That healing is something, man. I think I might actually just say fuck it to, uh... The cooldown reduction. And just go auto attack based. Like, stone cutting and... Toxic Blade. Maybe an Atalanta's if he does get more tanky. How much health does he have? Actually 2k. I have 2300 though. bother me. You have seemingly no anti-heal, so the full wave here, your ult did what is that, 300 damage? And then I just outtraded you with the tiger stun? I'm gonna ult this so that I can try to take Phoenix. Nice. Because of Soul Eater, I'm able to just tank like a bunch of fucking Phoenix shots, and it won't even matter. I just took, yeah, I took 1,660 damage of Phoenix, not including him at all, and I still have 1,300. It's kind of lame that you don't get your Soul Eater heal from Titan. I mean, I guess literally you don't lifesteal off Titan either, but it just seems weird to me. Full health again. He has Toxic Blade though, so I might actually be able to win the fight. I'm just gonna back and get red buff. I don't know if I'll pick it up though. I actually kinda like this blue buff. I like not running out of mana every three abilities. It's nice. I think I'm gonna go get blue buff, not red buff. I like that call, I like that decision. Also, I'm gonna get upgraded shell. This has been a fun game, dude. Up on that board. One way ticket to beat them in to win. My attack speed is relatively low, actually. It's only 1.48. But, I mean, Toxic Blade is the only attack speed I have, to be fair. It's gonna be really tough for him to deal enough damage in Fire Minions, too. Because I think... Honestly, he needs a stone cutting and a kins. If he got a stone cutting and a kins, I think he'd probably win the game. Like real shit. Not trolling. Okay. That's what I was waiting for, by the way. What's his alt? Um, I'm pretty sure there's no world he wins this fight. Just get the Titan Aggro off me for a second. Uh, I probably should have just... Well, actually, it doesn't matter. I win. GG, innocent babies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys. Peace.